Hydrology refers to the study of water, including its properties, distribution, and circulation through the environment. Water is a major influence on wetland processes, from water-altered soils to water-tolerant plants and insects. This makes hydrology an important concept to understand when working in and around wetlands. Water in wetlands can be broadly categorized into three groups. One, wetlands where the water is visible at the surface, commonly referred to as sloughs, ponds, or shallow open water wetlands less than two meters deep. Two, wetlands where water is not visible, but instead is found below a spongy ground surface, commonly referred to as muskeg or peatland bogs and fens. Three, wetlands where water levels fluctuate seasonally or annually, depending on snowmelt and rainfall. Often these wetlands are dry by midsummer and difficult to identify. As a result, human disturbance impacts may be difficult to mitigate or avoid. There are several hydrology field methods that can be used to measure wetland water levels and water movement, such as monitoring wells and staff gauges. Staff gauges are used to quickly relay the depth of standing water at a single measurement point. Monitoring wells are used when surface water is not present, as they are installed below the ground surface. Water level measurements can be completed regularly by field crews, or data loggers can be deployed within monitoring wells to take continuous water level measurements. The resulting data is plotted on a wetland hydrograph. This illustrates how each wetland class has a different season water level regime. Peatland bogs and fens experience little water level fluctuation with a consistently high water table residing just below or at the peat surface. In swamps, marshes, and some shallow open water wetlands, the water level fluctuates considerably over the growing season, producing a flashier hydrograph. Temporary and seasonal systems will typically be dry by midsummer. Monitoring the wetland water level is one tool in our toolbox for understanding wetland hydrology. If you've noticed that the area is getting wetter over time, with tree dieback that might be the result of more frequent or severe flooding, these measurements can validate your observations. Another aspect of wetland hydrology that is important to understand is how much water enters and leaves a wetland. A hydrologist might calculate a wetland water balance where water inputs equal water outputs. This can also tell us if a wetland is consistently gaining or losing water, which has implications for site management. Some wetlands, such as those common in the prairie pothole region, exist in small, isolated watersheds. The main water inputs are precipitation and surface runoff from surrounding fields, while the main outputs are evaporation back into the atmosphere or recharge into the groundwater system. If the wetland is connected to a lake, stream, or river, water outputs can also discharge to these downstream systems. In the boreal forest region, contiguous wetland classes connect to each other across the landscape, forming large wetland complexes. Peatlands and swamps are dominant land covers in this region, and disturbance impacts are often unavoidable due to the scale of the wetland complexes. Distinguishing a peatland bog from a fen can inform management decisions such as the number and frequency of culverts required for building an access road. Fens are generally more connected to the surrounding landscape units and readily transmit water above and below the ground surface. Constructing a road through a fen will have a damning effect if proper mitigation measures are not taken. If you cannot directly measure the rate of water movement or flow through wetland complexes, classifying the wetland units is a valuable clue in understanding both the degree of seasonal water level fluctuation and water movement across the landscape. To learn more and to download or purchase your copy of the Alberta Wetland Classification System Field Guide, please visit our website.